I guess right now, you know, I'm just I'm feeling pretty good at the plate. I'm just trying to go up there and get a good fastball to hit. Uh, you know, I try to take the approach that uh, the pitcher's going to make a mistake, and if, if he doesn't throw me a good pitch to hit, I'm going to take it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's it's been going pretty well so far. I, I just got to keep staying with that. I think, I think in pro ball, I've, I've really got a better understanding of what I'm trying to do every day and uh, just trying to improve and become a better hitter every day. As far as your plate discipline, what, and you're known for that, where did that come from? Um, I think it's... I think it's something that I've, I've kind of always had a little bit, you know. Um, I think I developed it a little bit in high school because I got pitched around a lot, and you know, uh, my dad was my high school coach, and he would just always tell me that I got to make sure, you know, stay patient and get a good pitch to hit. And if they don't give me anything, then uh, take the walk. But uh, I think it's definitely helped being in this organization because it's something that they stress, you know. Uh, if they don't give you a pitch to hit, then you know, take your walk and look for something you can drive. Yep. And. You reached the point now where you're going to start hearing a lot about your on-base streak and, uh, you know, reading the paper, and you know, people are going to talk about it more and more. Do you think about it now um, a lot? I really didn't start thinking about it until about maybe three or four games ago. I didn't even didn't realize that I had one going, and uh, we were at home, and some people started, you know, saying stuff about it. But um, I try not to think about it in the game. Uh, I think there was a couple games ago, though, where I didn't get a, get on base the first two or three times, and I started to think about it a little bit. But uh, it's something about your um, power versus um, gap hitter. Do you think you'll hit, start hitting for more power as a pro, or or um, more home runs, or is that something that will come? Uh, I think it's something that will come. Right now, I'm not hitting as many home runs maybe as I would like, uh, but I feel like I'm hitting a lot of line drives and uh, you know hitting some doubles gap to gap. Uh, I think maybe later in my career I'll turn into more power, but um, I, th- I think maybe even as the season progresses, you know, I'll start hitting a few more home runs. But uh, right now I'm just trying to put good swings on it and just let the ball take care of yeah. itself. What's the story behind that? You had a fresh mohawk last time you were here. It's grown out a little bit now, but yeah, it's, it's grown out a little bit. Um, I actually I started off the season about um, hitting about 090 or something like that the first seven or eight games, and I was gonna shave my head, and some guys were like, "Oh, it's just." leave a mohawk for, you know, a day or two. And I was like, all right, I'll do that. And ended up getting two hits that day and a couple hits the next day. And then, uh, then I've been, been doing well ever since then. And I, I tried to, I've tried to cut it a few times. And guys on our team won't let me. Yeah. So I, I think I'm going to keep it as long as, as, long as the streets alive. So.